First, we measure the mass of one Pringle, 2.2 grams. Now we measure 100 grams of water into our copper calorimeter and use a thermometer to measure the initial temperature. Now we can ignite the Pringle and burn it underneath the copper calorimeter. We'll transfer the heat energy from the Pringle through the copper of the calorimeter into the water itself. Now you can see the Pringle is incredibly oily and it burns really, really well, transferring loads of heat energy to the water in the can. But actually a lot of the energy is also being transferred inefficiently to the surroundings as well. Okay, so the temperature change in the experiment was 13 degrees centigrade, and we can use an MCAT calculation to calculate the amount of heat energy transferred, which was 5,434 joules of energy. And the can contains an estimated 200 grams of Pringles. So we can actually calculate how much heat energy should be transferred by the entire mass of Pringles in the can. And the answer came out as being 494 kilojoules. If we compare our answer to the value on the can, we see the Pringles had a much greater energy content on the can itself. A lot of heat energy was therefore lost to the surroundings. Chemistry experiments just aren't perfect.